Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. I want you to know today that we serve a great God, a God that is able to do all things and controls all things as well. He deserves all of the praise and all of the glory and all of the honor. And the children of Israel knew the God that they served, that he's holy. Hallelujah. He's righteous. He's just. He's faithful. He's all all that and much more. He told Moses to tell him, I am that I am. Hallelujah. He can be all things because he is all in all. So come on and go with me as we look in the book of Deuteronomy, the 10th chapter. I want to read in your hearing just one verse, verse 17. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, the 10th chapter, I want to read in your hearing, verse 17. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality, nor takes a bribe. I came to declare to you today that there is none like him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for allowing me to speak your word. Lord, I pray your word go forth in clarity and that Father, it would touch the hearts of your people. Let the anointing flow, I pray. And God, I pray that you would edify your people through your word and you would be glorified. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. We are truly a blessed people. We're blessed because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob chose us. Hallelujah. Called us into his mighty kingdom and all this great God desires for us to do is to love him with all of our heart soul mind and strength and to love our neighbors as ourselves hallelujah we have been given so much and God acts so little we've been given so much because Jesus gave his life God acts so little for us just to say yes, yes to his will, yes to his way. Yes, we agree, God, we need a savior. Yes, we need our sins forgiven. Hallelujah. He's given us his word. All he asks is for us to read it, to study, to show ourselves approved. He's given us his Holy Spirit. And he wants us to allow the spirit to lead us, direct us, guide us into all things, sanctify us. Hallelujah. Get us ready for when our savior return. We are a blessed people with a blessed God. There's none like him. He's the true and the living God. And we're so honored to be part of the kingdom of God. The children of Israel knew it. They knew how blessed they were. They got excited every time the ark was brought into their camp. That means the presence of God. We have his presence in us. We have his presence around us daily. Hallelujah. How much more should we give God praise? How much more should we live for him? How much more should we acknowledge him as Lord of all? He is Lord of heaven and earth. He created all things. Hallelujah. And everything belongs to him. I want you to know, hallelujah, that God loves you today. I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, don't stop giving God praise and keep your eyes on him. God bless you. I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard 
the story. The Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3, 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. The Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.